this. It can't go through here because they you don't have. Yeah. So it automatically corrects if it gets too close. Yeah. What if it gets too far? Uh, to it turn back. So if, if it gets too close, oh, I'm in the I'm in the danger zone, aren't I? Sorry. I don't. I think it won't be that close, but if it's this close, then. So what you might want to do is move these to the to the middle of the robot so that it can't get too close. You know what I mean? You move the sensors to, towards the middle. You, and then you can't ever get too close because it would hit the side of the robot. Put that front sensor on and make it how you'll see what happens here. That's sweet. So it looks like it can distinguish that we have to go left, we have to go right. But uh, how many pulses does this guy make? Yeah, it makes a total of ten. I was gonna say it sounds like ten. And why only such a small angle? You only you only doing it maybe that forty-five was degrees. Just most convenient because that's between one and two. Point zero zero one and point zero zero two. Okay. Well, the computer presumably is doing all your math, so it doesn't really care. If I were you, I'm shut this down. If I were you, I would have this guy rotate 180 degrees. Oh, darn it! Well, that's a problem. Is yeah, that going to be? That's not. You're going to put that inside. That's going to go somewhere totally different. Okay. So what I would do here, sorry about that, is I would rotate it 180 degrees mm -hmm. here to here. And then that way, or whatever, you know, value 160, 190, whatever it is, um, uh, I would scan the whole horizon. That way, you're gonna, you'll be able to see more of the of the area. Okay. So, Sam, what's it gonna do? Uh, it's gonna uh, line up with the black eye. Okay, sure. So both of these. External IR proximity sensors are now on the line. That's great. Yeah, and when you when you finish, the yellow LCD will be on almost uh, forever. Oh, I see the LED right there. Perfect. Yeah. Show, show me another one. And the light comes on. Great. I love it. So now you know what room you're in with the firefighter. So this robot is going to find a black line and then line up and then after it's lined up it was uh, cold uh, 30 degree and then 60 degree return and 30 degree back to the original place and while it's while it's cooling that the uh, fire uh, extinguisher will put the star and then try to put out a fire. Oh so I'm sorry yeah this is not to find the room this is to actually this is this simulates the circle around the candle then. Yeah. So. Uh, and then you're going to spray back and forth yeah. with the fire extinguisher. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So, Shufu, you have Does rebuilt this like deck, me? right? You've yeah. put the batteries up on top. I think we are getting to look alike more as we are. So it puts out the fire, that's great. Uh, okay, so this robot is going to follow this uh, T course. And uh, also, there's a lot of other program running in the background, which is when you see the bright white um, line or paper, you will just stop. All right, show me. Nice correction.
Where did it stop? Oh, it must have thought that was a white spot yeah. on the floor. Sometimes if the light's too bright, it just stops. Looks like your range may be a little, um, your, your infrared range may be a little too, too small. That's a good correction. So that's going to kill you if you, um, I think you're looking at too small of a range then. The white, yeah. uh, white thing? I mean, the difference between black and white in the competition is going to be huge. Oh, it sees your hand. Nicely done. Good.